And welcome to your Gold Market Update, Charts of the Day for today, 4th of April 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst from Gold Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Across the newswires overnight in the US, we saw a generally positive session. The Dow and the S&P 500 both closed positively. Some evidence of sector rotation, as we referred to last week, uh, the Nasdaq slightly negative. We did see this uh, at the back end of last week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the Dow performed. Not surprising as big tech has done so well. Today in Asia, US futures are near neutral and Asian indices are mixed in early trading. The ASX up around 0.1% prior to the RBA rate decision later. European equity futures are pointing to a manly higher open and the VIX continues lower as markets enjoy a strong move to the upside, nearing 20 support. US dollar index looked strong early part of the day but then dropped through the US session to close near two month lows. Gold as a beneficiary edging towards the top of the range and that elusive and psychologically important 2000 level. Copper remains range bound and oil is near neutral today after yesterday's OPEC driven 5% rise to the upside, which again we referenced in yesterday's report. Bitcoin is still within that short term range, just around that 28,000 level. And on the data front, it's jobs weeks in the US with the ADP starting things off on Wednesday, but all about the non farm payrolls on Friday. The RBA decision is out today, as I've said, European PPI and US factory orders are out later, giving the market some things to digest later on today. A couple of charts that caught our eye. Uh, we'll start with the Euro USD. Uh, put it on the 30 minute chart just to show you that we tested this key level just over 109 in yesterday's trading, uh, both at the beginning of the US session towards the end of it and again today in Asia. We'll just pull back again, suggesting just this resistance is going to take something extra to push it through. And just to put it into context, it is on the daily chart really important. You can see it's tried this level for the last three days. It was also resistance back in January. And so if it does breach this, it could precipitate some more buying, possibly up towards 110. On the ASX, the gold stocks are doing well. And we're looking at West Gold Resources, ticket code WGX. You can see that breach at the next key level here and looks as though it could be moving sharply to the upside once again, maybe even to test its 157. Uh, in the short term, we may see a pause possibly around about 146 or 147, which would be about a 7% move to the upside. But certainly if this US dollar weakness continues and gold strength, we could see it up to that next level pretty soon. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.